Hello, I'm going to show you how to do dialogue in the Lorian editor. Obviously this is a new tool and there's no official tutorials been released, so there's probably a bunch of stuff that I got wrong, or stuff that I miss out, so if there's anything that you see in this video that you disagree with, please just tell me and I'll update uh, the description or add annotations just to rectify things. Um, first thing you want to do, have your character in the game. I've added this guy. If you open the sidebar, um, which is Control B, you'll see this default dialog option. This string here refers to a file that I'm going to show you how to make uh, that contains all the dialog for this NPC. Um, now, Larian only do this for non-story or non-important NPCs. Um, and then for the important NPCs, they leave this box blank and presumably start dialogue via scripts or something like that. I don't know how to do that. For the moment, this should serve you well enough. So this guy is using default. So all the dialogue editing is done in this keyword editor. So open that up. Make a new dialogue. I'm just going to save that straight away. I'm going to override this default. You're probably going to have to create this first time you do it. Um, but just name it default.lsx and you'll be fine. First thing you want to do is go over here and add a greeting. Now, what you've just added, or everything in here, is a branch that the player can click on. Greeting is a special branch that appears when you first talk to the NPC, so and you need to name it greeting for that to happen. So I'm going to add another branch just to show you what's going on. So, click on this branch to have a look at all the text that's inside it. Up here, this is what the player will see when they click on it. So, you smell of poo. Classic insults. This here is how the NPC will respond. So that'll be, how rude. If you add in something to this next box, um, for example, I hate you. Um, the NPC will respond with either of those two things with a 50-50% chance, I think. Um, it seems random, at the very least. If you click on Add Text, you can add a new section. So, I'll say Go Away. And this section will uh, follow this section in dialogue. So, what I've got here, the NPC will say one of these two things, and then we'll say this thing. I'm just going to check end dialogue there as well. So when he says that, I'll be kicked out of dialogue. You need to make sure to add that somewhere. Otherwise, you won't be able to leave the dialogue with the NPC. You'll be stuck talking to him forever. Um, I'm also going to click tick show at start. So otherwise, this insult uh, won't be shown. And finally, for greeting, I'm just going to put hello. How are you? So that is a very basic um, a basic dialogue that works. I'm just going to show you in paint what that looks like. So you've got this note here that you start in where he says, hello, how are you? Then you've got an insult branch, which we just created, and that leads to an exit. You've probably seen tree structures before, but it is really helpful to get your head around what's going on because it can get quite complicated. So I'll show you what that looks like in game. He says, hello, how are you? I can tell him he smells of poo. <laughs> he says, I hate you. And he tells me to go away. And if I do it again, he'll say, how rude, instead of, I hate you. So that's a very simple dialogue. Now, at the moment, the only way branches will appear is if you can take show at start, so I'm going to show you how to make them appear in other ways. So I'm going to add two branches real quick, compliment and compliment two. Compliment will be, you look, you look well nice. He's going to say thanks. Compliment two is going to be, you smell well nice. And his response is going to be, thanks again. Compliment one, I'm going to show at the start. Now, if you click show, or you can expand these folders and click on the text directly and you get this box as well. 
Um, here is how you add branches, this bottom left corner. So you need to save and reopen because otherwise it won't recognize new branches you've added. Choose complement to and complement. I add that. Now depending on which one of these buttons you've got checked, um, different things will happen in terms of where the new branch is added in the tree. So I'm, rather than explain it more, I'm just going to show you what happens. So bearing in mind complement 2 is added with none. If I talk to this guy again, if I tell him he looks well nice, and I'll get another option to tell him that he smells well nice. In terms of the tree, what's happening there is, I've just added this complement. If you choose this complement, another complement happens at the same branch. So fairly simple. If I open this dialog again, I'm going to add another section. So info town secret town terrible place, secret, I don't know any secrets, info, what would you like to know, can you tell me about something, right so info I'm going to show at the start so you know what that looks like, there's going to be another eye there, that's not very helpful, I've got two eyes, never mind, um, Again, got to save and reload. I haven't figured out a quicker way to do this. If anyone knows of a quicker way, please tell me because it's so annoying. I'm going to add a secret and I'm going to add town there. Now if I click push, you'll see that change subject has been added as well. That's the default branch uh, that is always added when you press push. You can delete it, you don't need it, but I'll tell you about that in a second. What I have just done is creating a new nose where town and secret appear. So just to recap, when none is selected, when no subnode is selected, if you choose a branch, um, any new branches that appear will be at the same level. If you choose subnode, any new branches you will you choose will appear at the next level down. And finally, if you choose pop if you choose that branch you'll just go back up a level and that's what change subject is. Change subject is just a branch where all this is blank and pop has been selected with one so you can use pop, uh, you can use change subject rather or you can make your own um, and I recommend you make your own because change subject leaves this field blank and it will throw an error um, but that's fairly simple. If you choose pop with a different number fairly obviously you'll go up however many levels um, you selected. So to see what that looks like in game can you tell me about something? There's now a new menu I can ask him about secret or town or I can change subject which will take me back. You'll notice that when I choose these they disappear. Now options are pruned when you select them if they don't go to a node. Um, I think. I'm not entirely sure if that's the reason why. But then if you go back to the parent node of those objects, so this node right here, then they'll get repruned if that's a word, and you'll be able to select them again. Um, that is essentially everything for the structure of dialogue. Um, you don't need to know anything else. However, I'll just show you the briefest amount of scripting, because A, it's the only amount that I know, and B, it'll get you started if you want to explore around with it. This condition box here, I've got secret selected. If I add a condition by doing this, um, this option will only appear if this condition is true. So there's a bunch of different things, but is flag is fairly simple to understand. Make up a variable name, tell secret. If tell secret is one, then you'll be able to ask him about a secret. If it's zero, you won't. And so what I'm going to do is when you greet him, I'm going to add an action, which is set flag, tell the secret to zero. So when you start talking to him, he's not going to want to tell you a secret. If you then compliment him twice, 
he is going to want to tell you a secret. And uh, I will just show you how that looks. Uh, can you tell me about something? He won't tell me about a secret. If I tell him he looks nice twice, then he will now tell me about the secret. Um, and that's everything. Uh, if you find anything else about scripting or dialogue, please share because this community uh, would do so well uh, with that information, at least before the developers uh, release their own tutorial videos. Cheers, guys.